he had, you know, some right abdominal pain. He said, you know, uh, we'll just wait it out. It's probably something I ate. Then he called me again like a day or two later and said, oh, you know what? Um, it's not getting any better. And then even when my mom called me and said, you know what, yeah, this is a concern. Um, you know, I said, dad, like, you know, this is this is obviously an issue. Maybe you should get it checked. And he's like, well, you know, obviously going out and doctor's offices are closed and, you know, people are gonna see me telemedicine. How are they gonna even examine me? And there's a lot of questions that were raised. And so I, I even was hesitant myself, um, you know, at the time. But we, we talked back and forth, you know, for a while. And, you know, I had to convince him to, to come to the hospital. My wife is a cancer surgeon. Survivor. She was treated from cancer, so I can't risk her catching the COVID-19 for any reason. That's why I decided to delay it. And my experience at with the hospitals are full of COVID-19 patients all, so there's no room for others. Starting from the entrance, ER entrance, they check my temperature first, and then all the all the PPE requirement, the distancing mark it down before an entrance while the patient check-in also was taking care of all the staff and the hospital and the ER employee was wearing their masks and gloves so I, I found there is nothing to worry about. I just remember getting a call from uh, Dr. Richard Medina and then again Dr. Alexander Iskovich, the, uh, the surgeon who eventually uh, you know performed his uh, cholecystectomy and I clearly remember him saying, he's like, you know, he's gonna need it, but don't worry. We have uh, gotten down to the detail, even the timing of the procedure. You know, we know that we, ha we already tested him for COVID. You know, he doesn't have it. We'll, we'll make sure he stays that way. And we, they even took precautions in terms of the timing and then the deep cleaning before and after, um, you know, the entire process, uh, you know. So from my standpoint, just kind of seeing that angle because I'm not a surgeon, you know, and, and so it was one thing to, to kind of be re very reassuring. You shouldn't delay your health care for any reason. The hospital, especially at JFK, is 100% safe. And the care is <clears throat> beyond and above all expectations. We're seeing a lot of cases where uh, patients are delaying care, and as a result, uh, they're coming into the hospital uh, requiring you know, excessive treatments that they may have not required simply because they did delay that, that onset of care. And we're just trying to reassure you know, everybody that said, you know, just like you know, my father said, it's important to take care of your health and you know, don't ignore any warning signs, because uh, yeah, life is precious. <laughs>